Cohen, uh, do you know Lynn Patton? I'm, I'm right here. Oh, yes, sir. Do you know Lynn Patton? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I asked Lynn to come today in her personal capacity uh, to actually shed some light. H how long have you known Ms. Patton? I'm responsible for Lynn Patton joining the Trump Organization and the job that she currently holds. Well, uh, that's, I'm glad you acknowledge that because you made some very um, demeaning comments about the, the president that Ms. Patton doesn't agree with. In fact, it has to do with your claim of racism. She says that as a daughter of a man born in Birmingham, Alabama, that there is no way that she would work for, a, for a, an individual who was racist. How do you reconcile the two of those, Mr. As neither should I, as the son of a Holocaust survivor. But, Mr. Cohen, I guess what I'm saying is, is I've talked to, to the president over 300 times. I've not heard one time a racist comment out of, out of his mouth in private. So how do you reconcile it? Do you have proof of those conversations? I would ask you to Do you ask have tape recordings of those conversations? No, sir. Well, you've taped everybody else. That's, Why wouldn't you have a tape? That's also not true, sir. That's not true. You haven't taped anybody? I, I have taped individuals. How many times have you taped individuals? Maybe 100 times over 10 years. Is that a low estimate? Because I've, I've heard it's over 200 times. No, I don't think. I think it's approximately about 100 from what I recall. But I would ask so you, why would, you ask me a question, you, sir. Do you have so proof? Here's, do you have proof, I yes do. or no? I do. Oh, where's the proof? Ask Ms. Patton how many people who are black are executives at the Mr. Trump Organization. Mr. And the answer Cohen, is Mr. zero. Mr. Cohen, we can go through this. Here's, I, would ask you ask you, me? I would ask unanimous consent that her entire statement be put in the record. Without objection. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they aren't racist. And it is insensitive that some would even say it's the fact that someone would actually use a prop, a black woman, in this chamber, in this committee, is alone racist in itself. Donald Trump is setting Mr. the president. Mr. Chairman, I ask that her words Donald be Trump taken down. Donald Trump is setting down. a president. I reclaim my time. Mr. Donald Chairman, Trump is setting a president. Mr. Chairman, that the highest office can be a Mr. Chairman, the rules are activity. clear. Cover up and hold on to business assets to break campaign finance laws and constitutional clauses. What we have here, Mr. Chairman, is criminal conduct and the pursuit of the highest public office by Mr. Cohen and individual one. I hope that the gravity of this situation hits everyone in this body the court report. and in Congress and across this country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield the rest of my time. It's Mr. Chairman, I ask that her words, when she's referring to an individual member of this body, be taken down and stricken from the record. I'm sure she didn't intend to do this, but if anyone knows my record as it relates, it should be you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, I, I, I would like to hold on. I want the words read no, no, back. No, 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 no. We want to know exactly no, what she said me. about a colleague. Excuse me. Would you like to rephrase that statement, Ms. Salib? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I can actually read it from here. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, that just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they are racist. And it is, is insensitive that someone would even say racist, say, say it is racist in itself, and to use a black woman as a prop to, move, to prove it otherwise. And I can submit this for the record. If a colleague is thinking that that's what I'm saying, I'm just saying that's what I believe to have happened. And if as a person of color in this committee, that's how I felt at that moment, and I wanted to express that. But I am not calling the gentleman, um, Mr. Meadows, a racist for doing so. I'm saying that in itself it is a racist act. Well, I hope not, Mr. Chairman, because I need to be clear on this well, particular. Mr. Chairman. Mr. 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 Meadows, wait a minute. I, I've defended you no, at, at, no, about, no. Mr. Meadows, with false accusations. Mr. Meadows, I'm the chair. Yes, sir, you are. Thank you. Right. I will clear this up. Now, Ms. Salib, is it, I want to make sure I understand. You did not, you were not intending to call Mr. Meadows a racist, is that right? No, Mr. Chairman, I do not call Mr. Meadows a racist. No, no. I am trying oh, minute, as on. a person of color, Mr. Chairman, just to express myself and how I felt at that moment. 
-hmm. And so, just for the record, that's what was my intention. All right. Mr. Meadows. Mr. Meadows. Mr. Chairman, there's nothing more personal to me than my relationship. My nieces and nephews are for people of color. Not many people know that. You know that, Mr. Chairman. And to indicate that I asked someone who is a personal friend of the, the Trump family, who has worked for him, who knows this particular individual, that she's coming in to be a prop, it's racist to suggest that I ask her to come in here for that reason. Mm -hmm. Mr. Right. Mr. President, uh, the president's own person, she's a family member, she, she loves these, this family, she came in because she felt like the president of the United States was getting falsely accused. And, and Mr. Chairman, you, are, you and I have a personal relationship that's not based on color. And, and to even go down this direction is, is wrong, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I want to thank the gentleman for what you have stated. Um, if there's anyone who is sensitive with regard to race, it's me. Son of former sharecroppers that were basically slaves. So I, I get it. Um, I listened very carefully to Ms. Salib. And I think, and I, I don't want to, I'm not going to put words in her mouth, but I think she said that she was not calling you a racist. And I thought that we could clarify that. Because, you, Ms., Mr. Meadows, you know, uh, and of all the people on this committee, uh, I've said it and got in trouble for it, that you're one of my best friends. I know that shocks a lot of people. And, and likewise, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. But you are. And I would do, and I could see and feel your pain. I feel it. And so, and I don't think Ms. Salib intended to cause you that, that, that kind of pain and that kind of frustration. Did you have a statement, Ms. Salib? I'm going to yield to you. We no, can just straighten this Mr. up. Mr. Chairman, and, and to my colleague, Mr. Meadows, that was not my intention, and I. Do apologize if that's what it sounded like, but I said someone in general. Um, and as everybody knows in this chamber, I'm pretty direct. So I, if I wanted to say that, I would have, but that's not what I said. And uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to clarify. But again, I said someone. And again, I, those not referring to you at all as a racist. Well, I, I thank the gentlewoman for her comments. I thank the chairman for uh, working to clarify this. And... Uh, and I, I appreciate the, the, the chairman's uh, intervening.